Hello. Hi. We Hello. are. Hello. <laughs> we did that. It's your main man, Brett. It's it's your man, Ed, with another Hello. one of his amazing Video. setups. Uh, what have we got, Ed? What have we got here? Tell this us. is a reissue by Madrid Skateboards of the John Lucero Jester board. Originally released in 1985. To me, this is almost the personification of an 80s skateboard. When did you say 85? 85, yeah. May I? May Just I? when shapes were getting shapey. Shapey shapes. It's quite a, a normal shape, but things definitely got more shapier. It's about as 80s as it gets. It just, this is what I think everyone was riding in like 85 in my mind. I mean, look at it. It's beautiful, it's lovely. Right, take us through the dimensions, please. Would you ride it? I if don't I said let's go to a skateboard right now, would you ride it? I, don't, I, don't, I, would, I would do what you would hate. Would you ever consider riding one of these? I, I would contemplate it, but I'd want uh, modern wheels on it. Yeah, I know. I know. You'd kill me, wouldn't you? Take some bone wheels on it. Oh, yeah, it'd look great. <laughs> Dickhead. <laughs> Silly boy. Okay, it, no, do, it's fine. Do, do bones not do any reissue shapes, but with modern formulas? Copyright that idea. Just saying. Well, Old shapes, do. modern formula. I don't, I don't ride bones, I don't know. Put some I'm SPF formula in an yeah. old shape mould. Come on, just saying. Come on, Jim and Stacy. I'm sure you thought of it. Do it. We all <laughs> we all know. If you think. Who's Jim and Stacy? Jim Jim Powell. Is it Jim? Is it Jim Powell? George. George. <laughs> George. Jim can do it as well. We don't care. But George, it's if Jim. you want to do it, then that's even Stacey. better. Stacy. Stacy Peralta. Yeah. That's right. You said Jim again. <laughs> I said Jim. I meant. I meant Jim. You meant Stacey. But I got it wrong. George, if, what a if, mad if anyone can get a message to George, or if anyone can tell us that they do produce, they do produce all shaped wheels. But I think they're going to do the, these wheels in right, the, the, okay. the new Dragon Formula. All right. That's the Rat Bone Wheel by the way. The Rat Bone Wheel by Paul Parata. Because they are a power product wheel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rat boat. Anyway, this skateboard. This skateboard is a um, Madrid. I mean, it's a Madrid skate. board. That is pure eighties, right there. That is up. Yeah. Good old Jerry. <coughs> the guy who runs it. Jerry Good. Madrid. Yeah, yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> dimensions. Yeah. Tell us so dimensions. It's, um, what, what we can say. Ten point two five. Nice. On the width. The length, I can't remember. Right. Some sort of length. Yeah, so it, that's a number. <laughs> 30 and a half, I think. Yeah, you, you can get the measure out. It's fine, okay. you can do it. This is the long one. This is the long video. You just had it down, you just chucked yeah. it. There it is. Don't worry, folks, we're on it with here the... Here you go, here you go. The official measurement. This is chaotic. This, this, is, this, is, this is... I mean, this is the cutting edge of skateboard oh, yeah, media. I remember, I remember right now, yeah. yeah. 30, just dead under, on 30. Just under 30. Do you, do you press it down when you measure it or just leave it to go talk? Yeah, 30. Close enough. So the wheel weighs 16 and a half. Nice. Beautiful. And I can't remember this length either. And I can't remember the nose length either. Tiny little nose on it. Tiny, but it does kick up slightly. Kick up slightly. slightly. It kind of kicks up li- more here as well. There's it's a tiny like a... little... Oh, it does actually, no. Yeah. There's a tiny little bit of concave in it, but not very much. A little bit. <laughs> Knock uh, him out. And what do we think of the it's tail? Good. Like, it's not very steep, is it? It's quite a mellow tail. It's quite... mm. Or not. Lighted. Can you see how it slightly kicks up by the front truck? I don't know whether you can see that or not. You just have to take our word for it. Yeah, it doesn't kick here, it starts here. Oh yeah, like on one of the other boards that like we did. Like the turning port board, yeah. Yeah. Okay, sorry. But on the nose, not the tape. Anyway, uh, yeah. So the carriage, um, what we got, what we're saying? One six nines. Okay. Half inch rises, we've got a blue one and a pink one to match the graphic. Of. And then pink slime ball, 
60mm 97A vomits. Pink and green again, pink to match the graphics, and blue, pink to match the graphics. And green to match the And black power filter rails again to match the graphics. What a loser! Ah! Uh, some authentic black label stickers yeah, and that, kinda. although they weren't about at the time. Not quite yet, no. But it doesn't matter. A couple of years And later. signed. Oh, by it's someone. signed by John Lucero, the man himself, and numbered. Um, just a random number, or just no? There's like how many? The, how many were? How many of this series? Oh right, but now you can't there's see it because you've actually skated it. <laughs> Is it like a limited edition board, or you just? It was either. It? I think that's 500. Oh, okay. 500 Kind of limited then. And then they made loads more, which weren't signed. I mean, 500, that's not really... Is that really limited? I mean, even popsicle shapes... If you skate shapes, them, though, that instantly brings the number down. But even popsicle shaped boards, do they produce 500 of a graphic of a popsicle shape? But not shaped? signed. That's the point, though. Oh, okay. That's why it's... I'm just, I'm just thinking, like, you know, like the stereo popsicle board, you've got the two over there on the... Did they do 500 of those? Because if not, Probably then they're more limited than what that is. Granted, they're not signed. I'll give you that, though. No. I don't know. I'm not trying... I'm just... I'm but just they did do friend. signed versions of those boards. Did, oh, OK. But there weren't many of them signed. Right. Which is why they number them. And did you get this new? I did, yeah. And it was already... Yeah, you didn't get them to sign it. It was already signed. It was it's already signed. part of the deal of getting yeah. it. Because okay. they hadn't released the unsigned ones yet. Right, okay. Even though they're exactly the same price. Right, okay. Um, and where would you ride this? Uh, and do you ride it? I do, yeah. Not in a while, unfortunately. I just forget about it. But, um, yeah, skate parks and street skating. Any particular size skate parks? I wouldn't go... Because you've just covered everything there, basically. Wouldn't go you just said everything. Not. And downhill. Freestyle. I wouldn't do freestyle on this skateboard. Right, so what size skate I'm park? I'm not slalom either. Would you, go, would you skate church down on this? On this? I would, but I would complain that I'm not... That you haven't got the right one. I haven't got the right one. <laughs> would you skate Tetbury with it? Yes. So a slightly and smaller... Sester would, Sester would be fun. Okay. And Easton. Okay, so a slightly smaller skate park rather yeah. than something with Big. a little bit, a little bit bigger. Not Spitz so Order. Spitz Order, that's right out of the question. Okay. And I've rode it at Rush a few times as well. Uh, okay, all right. Which has a sort of mixture of... Yeah, okay. Everything. Smaller, yeah. Did. Again, Did. Uh, the, uh, uh, a slightly more mild mannered grip tech job for you there, from you. Yes. Although with some of the trademark like paint flicks on. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Just cut out again. Like oh, I like the, like the, the die, cut die cut stuff yeah. that you were talking about before. Yeah. Cut, yeah. yeah. Again, adding to that, that 80s look. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I've got him on. He knows the details. He's doing, he's doing the do. He's doing Here's the a fun do. fact. Yes. While we're on the do the do. This pink was John's, John Asuro's original. That's what he wanted. Right. Madrid to do. But they didn't do it because right. there was like a competition or a race or whatever between Schmidt Sticks and Madrid because they were quite, you know, the two big um, companies that were trying to be inventive, that's the word. Right. So they wanted to do a wood stain board, a dye, right. yeah, you might, a dye, dye wood, right. which you see all the time in these sort of modern boards. So it came out on a um, sort of faded green dyed wood, not the pink. That makes sense to me. Is that because like full dipped boards were were like the thing to do? The thing, yeah. And they were trying to to bring something new to so the game. The wood, the wood grain dipped with the wood dyed, yeah. Yeah. So for the first time, you would have seen the individual layers of plies on the side, which is now a standard on on modern contemporary skateboard. modern skateboards, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Full dip boards are not the standard, whereas full hey. full dips are quite everywhere in my collection. Yeah, yeah. almost. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And standard bushings. Standard stock uh, bushings. Yep. Yeah. And 
So little cutouts of the rails. That was a mistake. Uh, that yeah. was a mistake. You're just trying to. It was supposed to be the whole way, but it didn't work out, so I stopped. You just were like, <laughs> I've had enough. And that's, I'm done. Okay. Nice. And now the graphic is done by John Lucero as well. He drew it himself. Did he, he did. Yeah, he's one of the, one of the first few people to do their own graphics. Next to Neil Blender. Right. Blender. <laughs> the old Blender. Right? Blender. <laughs> the old Blender. Oh, good old Blender. Yeah, Blender. He bloody did his own graphic, didn't he? He bloody did. That he's from he's, he's from Cornwall, do you know? He's not really. Um, and what's the, the upper cup? To, is that a sticker? That is a sticker. Okay, some sort of brand. That's thing. a hair product. Yeah, okay, nice, nice. Again, somewhere you in can't there. see it's off camera. Nice. All right. When, hey, dressing rice. But, but you say okay. okay. Nice, nice dressing rice from nice. But you say you haven't used this one for a little bit. No. When do you think you might use it? Are you going to get it out this summer? If we do some Eastington and Tetbury sessions? Yeah, could do. Nice. Nice. What's the red grip? It's got red grip. Oh, yes. On the nose there. That's Alpha Original 80s red grip. In the shape of a lady. In the shape of a, a silhouette of a woman. And I have cut off the bottom of her arm so it fits on properly. Massacre. Okay. There we go. Did you have one of these? Have you ridden one of these? Did you have one back in the day? Didn't you say somebody we know had one? Yes, Lee Charman told me he had one. He actually had one of these set up in the 80s. Wow. What That's what he said. In is 80s. he lying though? Is he? <laughs> Answers on a postcode. Were you there? Did you see Lee Charman riding <laughs> one of these in 1985? If so, please contact someone who gives a shit. Um, Actually, all contact us. It's up to you. Whichever you want. Whatever. Uh, a, he would have been young, and B, that would have been quite a deal to have that over in the UK, right? In '85, like. Yeah, it was, it was, yeah. That would have been. He would have been the cool kid if he had one of these in '85. Well, he is the cool kid. Well, yeah, yeah he is the cool kid. You're right. He had a ball with a graphic. Okay. Um, nice. Nice. Would it have been? Yeah, would would people have mixed a Madrid? I mean, did they have? I'm trying to think of you mixing the brands and the allegiances to the brands in the states, because some like, would somebody have put Santa Cruz wheels, which slime ball a part of, right, mm -hmm. on a Madrid board that they wouldn't have been, yeah, like, anti like uh sort no, of faux, so. like uh I don't know what was John conflict okay. Right. Mm. Nice one. As always, Ed, thank you very much. Cool. Say goodbye. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Have a good day. Even go in, or go and skateboard. Definitely. Yeah, go ride a skateboard. Like so this. I think that's what we're going to go and do now, isn't it? Do a fast plan. Do a, do a anyway, fast plan. Do some rocket airs and then comb your hair. Anyway, goodbye. Bye. <laughs>